was trying to turn around. The ass end of my ship is not what I use to interact with things. Okay, let's check out Mercury. Captain, this planet is well beyond our ability to land on. <laughs> Okay, I guess we can't go here either. Technology to have a hope of safely exploring the surface. Weather? How is there weather on Mercury? Well, I guess this, like, waggly stuff can be weather. It's like volcanoes. There's definitely not volcanoes on Mercury. Hades Canyon. Okay. Promethium. It doesn't even have any uranium. Okay, uh, let's go to Mars. Mars should be pretty safe, right? Don't go to the sun. This, this controls. It's just like Star Control 2. I kind of miss the, like, scanning, the way it worked Sir, in that game. detecting two unidentified objects on the surface of Mars. Is this something to do with Alexites, or something else entirely? Ooh, stuff. Okay, so moderate weather. Yeah, that makes sense, I guess. Uh, no, uh... No uranium on Mars. Surprising. Lifeless. I think we're supposed to stay inside this. You get an achievement for crashing your, your lander. Or at least for landing outside of that. Oh, Captain, this is amazing. It looks like part of an alien spaceship. It's radio silent, though, so it can't be what we were sent out to look for. Still, we're going to bring it back to the ship for analysis. Mm hmm. Well, I wonder if that has anything to do with the radio signal or the Lexites? It's kind of heavy. I don't know if you'd find that just like lying around. Maybe though. I mean, it's pretty common in Earth's surface. Pretty common. I think you'd be finding iron here though. Or aluminums. Actually, I don't, I don't know how common aluminum is on Mars. Nitrous oxide. Apparently we got tons of space in this thing. I'm not worried about that. Maybe. Could be a defunct rover. Oh, Captain, this is oh. amazing. It looks like part of an alien spaceship. It's radio silent though, so it can't be what we were sent out to look for. Still, we're going to bring it back to the ship for analysis. Uh, maybe they make rovers out of titanium. I don't know. You think we get some uh, radioactives from? Uh, from the um, that nuclear science tank they sent. I don't remember what it was called. I'm a bad science man. Uh, curiosity. All right. There's all the titanians. So we found two alien thingamabobs. Could go back to Earth, but they'll probably just sass me for not doing what I'm supposed to do. Jerks. Let's see if we could find some uh, uranium. Well, they told us to check Io, I think. Let's go land on Jupiter. Let's see if it actually lets us land on Jupiter, or if they like actually paid attention in science class. Uh. Why are there five moons? I don't think you could land on any of the other moons of Jupiter. Mm. Oh, there's some that are, like, smaller. Okay. Stable weather. Why is there weather on this planet? There's a thing here. Okay. This is an Io, obviously. This is Ganymede. Cyano acetylene. Not much here. Ah, there 
Who's the, that, that, whatchamacallit over there? What the hell? We found Sputnik. Looks like an old Russian space probe, Captain. It's neat, but not much we can do with it. Judging by their flag, it looks like a Norman space probe. <laughs> Oh, okay. You know, it's 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 Cyrillic writing. Okay. Cool. All right. Is that crashed? I mean, if they crashed on purpose, is it crashing? I guess so. Let's check this one. Adrasti. Never heard of that. Probably one of the fake, crappy moons. There's a lot of stuff here, though. Uranium. There we go. Francium. Do we need Francium? I'm guessing we do. Okay. Uh, hills. Oh, there we go. Uranium. Hydrocarbons. I, I guess there could be frozen hydrocarbons this far out. I mean, most of these moons are made mostly of ice. I don't know if you'd find pretty much anything on the surface of these moons. Aside from, like, you know, volatiles all frozen. So the hydro hydrocarbons make sense, I guess. More sense than titanium or something. Or francium. Honestly, I don't even know what francium is. Like, I, I know what it is, but, like, I don't know what you do with it. Obviously, it's some kind of radioactive element. Okay, that's a drasty. Not much going on there. I keep accidentally muting myself. Alright. Callisto. Lucid crystal planet. Okay. Thulium. It's a rare Earth. A rare Jupiter, more like. This is that stuff right there. Pretty boring on Jupiter's moons, but I guess that's to be expected. I wonder if we could find, like, space lobsters on, on Europa. European lobsters. Would it just be European? I don't know. I don't know. They use euros on Europa. Okay. Oh, there it is. There's the thing. go one of these crappy little moons. Thonian volcan- No! Stop it. I think the gravity from these planets is like pulling us closer. Let's see if we can go to Jupiter. <laughs> no landable surface. That's right. Weather devastating. I need to change what- Oh, I can do this. Change what my push to talk key is for this game. Okay. Captain, the weather on this planet will make landing very difficult. We'll need better landers to manage it. Oh, there's uranium here, but I've already got some. So. So this is like. Mm. 
not much reason. So this actually tells us the value of the minerals. That's cool. Obviously, this stuff's really neat. We'll see if we can get see, get any upgrades in the solar system uh, before we start landing on a difficult planet. So I remember I did uh, pretty much everything um, before leaving the solar system last time, but I may not do that. Come on. That part of the ship is not for landing. Alright. Sir, we're detecting an unidentified object on the surface. We may want to send a lander down to investigate. Lightning? What this the lightning on Europa, really? Okay, so um Lead <laughs> Nope, no life on Europa. This is primarily lead and nickel. Let's let's do this one. This doesn't seem that dangerous. Some like geysers it looks like. The geysers make sense. Let's not drive into any geysers. I guess I don't want to drive into those clouds. I wonder if the lightning are static, or if it just hits randomly, and I can't really do anything about it. I don't think I want to damage my ship by doing experiments. Uh, do, do I want to go into the cloud for one hour? Sure, let's find out if it's dangerous. Yes, it's dangerous. Okay. Let's never do that again. Someone has given their life for one oxygen. Well, this is a heck of a thing, Captain. We found some kind of monument here. It is probably... At least, I think it's a monument. It's a big, multicolored slab of metal with odd protrusions sticking out of it. Balls and sticks, kind of. There's text on it, or graffiti. Pictures of aliens fighting? I'm honestly not sure. No human language, anyways. Not much we can do with it, but admire it. And... done. <laughs> we'll just leave this here, then. Hmm. Balls and sticks sounds like it's, uh, it's clearly a monument to Fwifo's greatness. I'm simply gonna assume that. This is the, the Fwifo Memorial. Uh, I think it's probably just a reference to 2001 Space Odyssey. Okay. So that is Jupiter. Let's go to... This will be Uranus, I guess. Yep. I'm sure we can't land on Uranus. So let's uh, go to Oberon here. Moon's Uranus, sure, named after... An unidentified object on the surface. We may want to send a lander down to investigate. Named after Shakespeare stuff. Lots of unidentified objects on these moons of gas giants. Much in the way of resources, though. I guess that's to be expected. Strontium? Oh, there's the thing. What is this? We found another piece of an alien spaceship, Captain. Still not broadcasting anything. I wonder where these things came from. So maybe it was a distress signal on... And, like, these are pieces of the alien ship. I don't know. Maybe I should have just gone straight there. I wanted to find out instead of exploring the solar system first. Whatever. Plot can't tell me what to do. And I'm guessing this other one is Titania. I wonder if there's titanium on Titania. It's actually not, it looks like. Miranda? I guess that makes sense, too. Miranda makes sense. It's another unidentified object! Didn't tell me about this one, though. This one's all bumpy. I haven't really been checking. Have these bodies been of different sizes, or are they all pretty much the same? What's this? 
It's the Tesla. It's got an Elon Musk stash in it. Coffer. Hey, cool, they have it on its side. Would you be able to see the rings from their moons? I mean, I know you can't really see them from Earth, but, like, you can see them in space, sort of. I don't know about uh, Uranus's rings. I know they're sideways. Okay. Is Pluto in this game? It's an extra... An extra line. If this is Uranus, then I'm guessing that next ring is Neptune, which we already saw on the other side of the solar system. When we were... Yeah, there's, there's Neptune right there. Let's go. Let's let's go figure this out before we go to Saturn. Captain, we're still detecting that signal from Tri. I know. We should travel to the moon and scan its surface. If there's anything of interest, I can take a landing craft down to investigate further. Jokes on you. I've already been to the moon. Oh, I I guess he means Triton. Okay, let's go to Triton then. Boring. Doing the thing we're supposed to do. Captain, we've located the source of the radio signal. It looks like there's a crashed ship down there. We should take a lander down to investigate. All right. Let's go. Oh, it's one of these geysers here. Let's get some ammonia. Some stank gas. Oh, nitrous. Alright. Is that the sun? That's cool how it makes it, like, farther away. Wait, if this is Triton, should we be, like, underneath, like, a million miles of gas and not be able to see this guy? Not a million miles, but you know, no! That's cool. The geysers make you jump a little bit. I'm surprised it doesn't hurt you when you flip over like that. Alright. So, let's go check out the plot. Actually came. I can't tell you how sweaty we are to see you. <laughs> Gross. I've seen these guys. These guys are featured in some of the art, and you can like see them in the the um, codex thing in the beginning. So it kind of spoils that these guys exist. Um, also, the Urquan kind of analogs. And you're a medium-sized mammal. We come in all shapes and densities, human. I am Chief Viscosity Officer Windu of the Taiwan. Hmm. Well, let's introduce ourselves. You think it's nice to meet me? Oh, no. That's a wonderful change from the usual disgust and contempt we receive when meeting new species. Are these guys the new... the new... Spathy who everyone hates because they suck? It's a funny story. you like it. It starts with these guys called the Scribe. They're the ones who shot us down. They're kind of our friends. Uh, so the scribe are talked about in the um, in the codex as well. <laughs> that makes so much sense when you say it that way. 
We're actually trying to protect you from the scribe. We began receiving your radio transmissions about 50 years ago. You're a fascinating species. And because we knew the scribe would destroy you if they found you, we've been keeping you a secret from them. At least we were, until a few months ago. I wonder if the scribe had evidently received traces of your radio broadcasts themselves. They dropped some pretty terrifying hints that they were looking for you. We were on our way here to stall them, which we did. By getting shot down by them. Hence the distress call. This Pathy would have never got shot down by the Urquan. The Spathy ships are really good against your Quan, but you know, I don't know about these guys' ships. Is this what they look like? Got the kind of rabbit ear thingamajigs here. This is stats. This is the, the gross meter. This is the slime meter. And this is the stank meter. So they, I guess they're on Neptune because Pluto isn't a planet anymore? But uh, there were, I guess, actually, there were nine uh, rings. So the planet. Pluto must be in this. That's a fair point. Still, what's a few favors between friends? I guess we gotta be friends with the uh, slugman. Well, let me explain. The scribe are looking for you in this area of space. They don't know exactly where you are, but they will find you. Not a lot of humans are going to survive that process. That sucks. The good news is, we can help you. If you help us first. Most of our systems were squished when we dropped out of hyperspace. Our hyperwave radio was one of them. Which is why we had to call for help the old-fashioned way. Also, half of our entire ship fell off. Now, we might actually be able to repair all that damage, but we will definitely need that other half of our spaceship back. <laughs> so, uh, it actually makes sense. So, like, this is kind of a first contact situation, unlike in Star Control 2. Where you had like known about the aliens and stuff. And you don't actually start on Earth in Star Control 2. There's a cat on my desk now. I'm sorry if he bumps into the microphone. Um, yeah, but like it makes sense that these guys could talk to us because they have been listening to radio signals for a while, so. We can? I don't want to bore you with all the little technical details. Simply put, we are really good at our jobs here. Yeah, I thought I guess they're competent. Um, uh, yeah. Thanks. It's probably supposed to mean that sarcastically, but... I will just assume they are good at their jobs. It went down on a planet somewhere in your solar system. I'm not sure where precisely. All planets look the same when you're crying. <laughs> so if I had to guess, I'd say it was around one of your larger, bluer worlds. Also, we lost a couple of hyperdrive modules. We'll definitely need those if we want to not start the death clock from home. Those definitely went down somewhere in your inner solar system. I know this is a lot to ask. But finding all of this shouldn't be a problem for a ship with both its halves. So do they know we were building this ship? Like... Yeah. And so it's surprising that they don't mention the, um... Lexites. I almost called them the Andersynth. <laughs> no, um... The... Because the Lexites were like a big deal, I guess. I mean, we don't know much about them other than that they're some kind of post-human Cybermen clones or something. 
Andersons would think were clones, but I, I'm not sure about these ones. Um, they like made a bunch of AIs and then transcended humanity or something. But it's interesting that they don't mention them because that seems like it would be a big deal, and they don't even talk about them leaving or anything. Okay. All right, so we we found this junk. Uh, he said the larger, bluer worlds. That would have been the thing we found on Uranus's moon. And then the things we found in the inner solar system. The biggest help I can offer is this. We'll be your friends. It's not just me and my crew. All Taiwan everywhere. We'll share technology and explain how the galaxy works. And how to avoid getting killed by the scribe. We've been not getting killed by the scribe for a while now. Not that I'm bragging. Okay, I'm bragging a little. <laughs> so, will you help? It's a little presumptive of them to be like, Oh, we, we haven't been killed by the scribe in about five minutes because they just got shot down by those guys. Yeah, we found all the things. Great! Now we can fix our ship. Okay. Is there an animation for this? It worked. No. <laughs> we repaired the hull damage and restored power to our propulsion systems. Oh, my heater came on. It will take another minute or so to get our defensive systems online. So please, don't murder us. <laughs> Are we allowed to? So, my new damp chum. Yeah, I'm being shot down is not dying. They are alive. Life. You can introduce us to your parents and leaders. We can tell them what we've told you. Or we could just hang out. This guy is pretty creepy. Most definitely. Gross. But we have procedures to minimize the health-related risks of contact with alien species. Meeting aliens is not new to us, human. Alright. We'd better not regret this. You won't. I bet a bunch of them died you when they were shot down, though. though. I've heard that people rule meetings with me. <laughs> they call him the chief viscosity officer just because he's super gross? Or is that, like, normal for, uh, Taiwan to be super gross? I'm guessing the latter. Alright. Oh, crap. A thing. What's this? Ooh, Scrive. This is very similar to the beginning of, uh, Star Control 2. Like, almost exactly note for note, aside from the thing on series. Like, there was even an Androsynth base. Um, maybe even on the moon. I don't remember. They even have different font. Different fonts for each race. That's... This is like... It seems like just a straight-up remake of Star Control 2. I'm not sure how to feel about that. I mean, on one hand, it's like more Star Control 2. On the other hand... I don't know if it's going to be as well done as Star Control 2. I guess Star Control 2 is a really old game, so there might be a lot of more playable for people who haven't played old games. Well, it said Scribe on the thing. I'm just Assassin. I like their fancy robes. I suppose there's logic there. 